Hey guys, if you just saw my um, last tutorial on the bow maker, I'm going to show you guys how to use the bow maker. What you're going to need is two, two clip pins, your ribbon, your bow maker, um, your needle and your thread, which is over here, which I have, and some scissors. And um, go ahead and make a knot in your thread. I always do that first. Alright, this is really easy and it takes like two seconds and then you have a bow. Alright, you also need a letter. Alright, take mine off my little cardboard. I'm going to go ahead and heat seal one in. Alright, what you're going to do is, on the end like this, I take it and I go behind it like this, if you guys can see that, and I line it up with this. Just because I want it to be a little extra. If you want it a little extra, you can go a little extra over like this. But you also want to make sure when you sew it that it's not directly on the sew wrap. Alright, and we're going to wrap it around twice. So we're going to wrap around. And then you're going to wrap around. And then you're going to end up on the other side. Like so. Okay. You want to hold, I forgot to put the close one, but you want to put close one here. And then you want to pull this tight. And you want to cut it off. Heat seal it, and you want to close from that there. Okay, now you put your ribbon aside. All right, you take a needle and thread. Okay, when you do this, it doesn't matter the cardboard bends. The cardboard's going to bend in a little bit like this. Okay, when you do this, so this is why we made it out of cardboard because it's easier and it's, it's pliable and it goes back and forth. And it won't, it won't hurt it. Alright, so what we're going to do is you're going to find your middle. Follow it all the way up. To where you think is going to be the middle. It really doesn't have to be exactly in the middle when it comes to right, um, like this way. But it doesn't need to be in the middle. Alright, what I do to make sure I'm in the middle is I pull my string down and I line it up. So you guys can see that I lined it up. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it underneath it, and you're going to line it up, and you're going to pull upwards. You're going to make sure that your bottoms are not in the way, and they're not. So you're going to pull, and I always pull it down, go down the front, and then you're going to pull straight down. You're going to do that. Pull straight down. So I'm going to pull it this way. So you guys can see. What I do is I pull it straight down. Okay, see how it's scrunching together? Alright, what you're going to do is you're going to pull it straight down. And you're going to take it and you're going to scrunch it with your fingers. Take off the clothes thing, take it off the bow maker. Alright, what you're going to do is keep pulling it, you're going to wrap it around and pull. Wrap around and pull. Wrap around and pull. Alright, you're going to adjust your bows, adjust everything on it. Okay. okay. After you adjust the bows, you can do a little knot in the back. And you're going to tie a knot. like this. Alright, you're going to take a strap piece of ribbon. Okay. Heat seal both ends. Okay. Since this is a striped, I like to line it up. You can do it as big as you want, thick as you want, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna cut it straight down. Okay, put that aside. And you heat the other one side too. Okay, there you go. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a dab of hot glue right there. 
I'm just gonna wrap this around. I stick it, I always make sure I hold it, and then you're gonna wrap. I always take it and I pull straight up. And then I take it on the other side and I pull straight down. I always want to make sure that this is tight. So it doesn't look funky donkey. I always wrap it around twice, always. To give it that kind of look. And I'm always trying to flip these guys up. Okay. And you're going to hot glue it. And you're going to press down. Fold back. Cut off. Heat seal. Okay. And you put your little rhinestones on. So you get me a rhinestone. Put a little rhinestone in the middle. Okay. Line that up. Alright. Next we're going to do the tail. These are really easy. You're going to fold your tail in half. You're going to determine do you want it to start down here? Do you want it to start up here? Do you want it wherever you want to start? But you're just going to cut in a diagonal line. Okay. And there you go. Perfect V. Perfect V. Saw this on a tutorial once. I thought it was perfect. Alright, so there you go. So you can do the same exact thing on this side. Fold it in half. Do a diagonal. Right up, heat seal, there you go. Now, these tails are a little longer than what I'd like. I like it to be a little bit shorter, but there you go. You got your little bit. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to adjust it real fast. Do not like my hair bows with that long of a tail. It really is up to the person. Take my little V. I did exactly what I used There you go. And there you go. We're not exactly, but that's perfect. There you go. You cute little bow. took like five minutes to make this bow. I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry. As I'm trying to close out, I see the imperfection. There you go. I hope you guys enjoy this bow and you enjoy the bow maker. So make lots and lots of those. If you guys have any pictures of the bows that you guys will make, um, I'm going to put my website at the bottom of this video and I hope you guys will submit videos and pictures. You know, I'd like to see what you guys have been making. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.